You know, as fellow practitioners, we absolutely benefit from learning from our colleagues and friends, you know, both the boots on the ground and the researchers. But how would you summarize this conversation? If you could just distill the conversation into one golden nugget for our listeners in terms of ERP organizational change, success, and selection, what would you leave them with? I would leave them with a couple. The first one is, if you start off wrong in the selection, you're just setting yourself up for a lot of additional work afterwards, and maybe you set yourself up for failure. So find that ERP that matches your business, matches your industry, can show that there can be benefits in selecting that solution, not only from a solution standpoint, but also from a best practice and giving advice to the organization. Why not do it this way? This is a good practice. Then the second thing is is the implementation itself. And that is where a lot of the, the dimensions of you know emotion and change and, and implementation effort uh, go in. And that's where you also need to do something fast. You need to create success over time. So you keep that momentum, you keep the people motivated into into wanting to do change over time and not just one time just because they want to get to the goal life. Mm -hmm. And then with that, that's, that solution also needs to be flexible. We, we all know the stories about, you know, what species survive. It's not the strongest, not the biggest, not the fastest. It's the one who adapts faster. Mm -hmm. So the faster you can adopt in the change in the future, you will find that such great value to the organization because one thing we guarantee our, our customers is it, things will change. Nothing stays stable. So that adoptability is, is yeah. essential for the rest of the 10, 15 years you want to deploy something. 